Nearly five decades later, the cast of the movie Taxi Driver 1976 has had notable changes. They won numerous awards, landed iconic roles, and cemented their place in Hollywood history. But where are they now? What are they doing? Join me to find out through this video. 1. Robert De Niro Robert De Niro was born on August 17, 1943 in New York City. His parents were Robert De Niro Sia, an abstract expressionist painter, and Virginia Admiral, a poet and painter. Um, uh, some actors work cerebrally, some work uh, physically on another character, um, which it does to actual people who are characters. It helps them identify. His character in Taxi Driver is Travis Bickle, who is a troubled Vietnam War veteran who suffers from insomnia and post-traumatic stress disorder. He worked as a taxi driver in New York City, driving the night shift and witnessing the city's worst. Hey. I'm standing here. You make the move. You make the move. He was married twice. His second marriage was to Grace Hightower from 1997 to 2019. They have two children together. Robert De Niro is 79 years old. His net worth is estimated to be around $500 million. His assets include several properties in New York City, Los Angeles, and other locations. Oh, I'd say if you're... Uh, it depends on what stage of directing you're at, if you're trying to get them, whatever. We go, I never knew what direction things would go into, and this is where we are today. 2. Martin Scorsese Martin Scorsese Born on November 17, 1942 in Queens, New York City, USA, is a famous filmmaker, known for his influential contributions to cinema. Like Arthur Bremer, you know the character of Arthur Bremer? The guy who shot George Wallace in America? Sort of like that, he writes by Sybil Shepherd. The cabbie is gonna be played by Robert De Niro. And uh, she works for the reasons. If it wasn't, if it wasn't her, it'd be something else. She's just a catalyst. In Taxi Driver in 1976 with the character Travis Bickle portrayed by Robert De Niro. Bickle, a Vietnam War veteran, was struggling with insomnia and mental health issues. It's not my problem. You know who lives there? Huh? Yeah. There's nothing else. I just, I'm gonna kill him. What do you think of that? I'm gonna kill her, I'm gonna kill her. Now, at age 81, Scorsese, with five marriages and three daughters under his belt, is enjoying remarkable success with a net worth estimated at $100 million. Very excited. Excited for everyone to see the film tonight. And how was it? Very much like a family project. Yeah. You've been working with Martin Scorsese for more His assets include mansions in Los Angeles and New York City, along with a notable collection of art and films. Introduced to 16 at school. Okay. No, sure. no, I learned never to do an assistant cameraman again. Three, Jodie Foster. Born on November 19, 1962, in Los Angeles, California, Jodie Foster is the daughter of Evelyn Brandy Foster, a journalist, and Lucius Fisher Foster, IEIU, a real estate developer. Cool, and I was uh, a little bit ahead of the classes, and I had always had a uh, near for went into that one because I could have. I could pick up my studies anywhere in the world because there are... Uh, Foster's breakthrough role came at age 12 in Taxi Driver, which led to a successful film career. In the film, she plays Iris Diensma, a 12-year-old runaway prostitute. I split in the first place. There ain't nothing there. Yeah, but you can't live like this. It's a hell. Who's a killer? That guy sports a killer. That's who's a killer. Sport never killed me. At the age of 61, as of December 8, 2023, Foster still keeps his personal life private, never publicly confirming any marriage. Um, you know, I was going to bring my walker tonight, but it just, it, didn't, it just didn't hear, and tonight, I feel like the prom queen. Thank you. Currently residing in Los Angeles with Hedison since 2014, Foster has two sons, both of whom were conceived through anonymous sperm donors, with an estimated net worth of $100 million. Foster owns various properties in California, including a mansion in Beverly Hills and a beach house in Malibu. Every time I did that, I was centered in the character and I knew what I was doing and I knew where I was. And the process is instinctual, can come from within. And as long as you have- Four, Sybil Shepherd. Born Sybil Shepherd on February 18, 1950 in Memphis, Tennessee, 
Cybill Shepherd was the daughter of William Jennings Shepherd, a Naval Academy graduate and World War II veteran, and Patty Shepherd, a homemaker. She's In the movie Taxi Driver, she plays Betsy, a beautiful and seemingly perfect political campaign worker who becomes the object of Travis Bickle's obsession. That's good people working for us. And I think Palantine's got I think he respects you. I don't believe I've ever met anyone quite like you. At the age of 73, Shepard's life has had many events. She has been married three times. Shepard has three daughters and three grandchildren. Shepard, she's so... With an estimated net worth of $20 million, Shepard owns various properties in California, including a home in Beverly Hills, a beach house in Malibu, and a ranch in Montana. And uh, and it, I think it's still on Amazon Plus. And I, where's my where's my residuals? And I've, I've I've never had a chance to murder people. <laughs> Five, Albert Brooks. Albert Brooks was born on April 22, 1947 in Los Angeles, California, with the real name Albert Einstein. Albert Brooks is the son of Harry Einstein, comedian, and Thelma Leeds, voice actress. And I'll tell any young comedians watching, if you get down to the last 20%, it's as good as nothing. Oh, deep that I'll do injury to myself to go in and get it. In the movie Taxi Driver, he plays Tom, Betsy's colleague in the political campaign office known for his witty sarcasm and skeptical observations. Well, we all work together here full to gentlemen. Well, we'll I, sign you up. Please, I, I drive a taxi tonight, so it's kind of hard for me to... to um... At the age of 76, he has been married twice. The second time was to Debbie Brown in 1994. The couple has two children. Still using it at the time. Oh, really? Except I didn't like it in high school, you know. With an estimated net worth of $45 million, Brooks owns various properties in Los Angeles, including a home in Beverly Hills and a vineyard in Napa Valley. Sincere thanks to all the loyal viewers who watched this video until the end. If you like this content and want to show your support, please hit the subscribe button, like this video and share it with your friends. Your support really means a lot to us. Stay tuned for more exciting then and now stories coming soon. Until next time.